That's right. Thank you, boys. <laughs> well, on April 5th, the Helen Hayes Awards, the 26th annual one, just named the top people in the theater world in Washington. And if you want to know who they are, we've had some I've interviewed, uh, you can look up the HelenHayes.org, uh, or you call them up. Hey, a phone thing, huh? 202-337-4572, and they maybe they even send you this book with all the people who won. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, just in its second year, First Stage Theater has produced another winner in Humble Boy, written by a British playwright, uh, Charlotte Jones. Humble Boy is set in an English garden where a son, Felix Humble, played by Matt Dewberry, uh, has returned home from a successful research fellowship to attend his father's funeral. Uh, his domineering mother, Flora, by Myron Powell, during her marriage, carried on an affair with a friend, uh, George Pye, played by Jeff Murray. Uh, uh, combining uh, this with uh, seven years earlier of impregnation of George's uh, daughter, uh, Rosie, played by Nevi uh, Brooks, Felix sort of fell apart with the stutter and everything else. Anyway, Lee McKessa Gardner, a well-known director and actress in town, directed this. Good show. Good show. Uh, the uh, the the phone number for the for first stage is five seven one two zero five twenty five seventy one or check the website firststagetysons.org. Um, uh, uh, Theater J uh, doesn't do Hello Dolly uh, or shows like that. Uh, non thinking stuff. But this has been uh, never been truer than today with its current show in Darfur by New York Times writer Winter Miller. Now, she tells the gripping and horrible story of uh, what's going on in Darfur with rape and slaughter of men and women and children, and some of it's still going on with the non-Arab tribes uh, in Sudan. It's a riveting depiction uh, directed by Derek Goldman. Uh, you'll feel a bit squeamish, but damn it, uh, you can't turn your face from it. It's so riveting. Uh, uh, a lot of good people in it. Uh, anyway, I, I recommend, I mean, top people are in this thing. I'm, I'm not going to give you all the names now, but um, your phone number for, for the uh, Theater J in the district for tickets is 800-494-TIXS, uh, and uh, it's just a good good show. And the uh, phone number here for, for me, uh, yeah, I just gave you the ticket number, but it's theaterj.org. It tells you everything you want to know. Uh, the National Gallery of Art, I've been going there for a long time. They've got a show that's going to end up on May 31st, but I'll tell you from now. It's, uh, it's called The Sacred Made Real, Spanish Painting and Sculpture from 1600 to 1700. It will knock you out with the paintings and unbelievable quality of stuff. You can't, you can't, it'll take your breath away. That's how good it is. Look on their website, uh, nga.gov, or call up 202-737-4215 and get information. Hey, you don't want to miss one, this one. It's a terrific, terrific show. Uh, and finally, I want to tell you about uh, when was the last time you were in Reston? Well, I can give you a good, a good reason to go. It's Jackson's Mighty Fine Food and Lucky Lounge. Jackson, <laughs> Jackson is part of the great American... A restaurant group, which includes Audie's, uh, you know these places, Mike's American, Carlisle, Coastal Flats, Sweetwater Tavern, Silverado. Really? So you know uh, it's got to be good. It's named after Bill Jackson, great American's late corporate food guy. I knew Bill and did two cooking shows with him a few years ago. I have a feeling he'd be happily pleased with this, his namesake now. Jackson's is a big, sprawling place with two bars and an open kitchen, and a very informal and friendly staff, I'd say exemplified by the manager, Shannon Annis. The menu is very inviting, or some for everybody, really. Appetizers, devil, they got a devil eggs. Can you believe that? When was the last time you had devil eggs? With pecans, uh, wonderful, with, with a sugar-cured uh, bacon. Then they, they got a lobster mac and cheese. They've got a, a they've got a, a, oh, geez, a lobster bisque that won't quit. Then the menu also has sushi things. Um, uh, Jackson's ribeye steak is marinated for uh, at least two days in Worcestershire, and uh, and they got they got Campari tomatoes with it. It's delicious. It's crazy actually. And then and then they've also got uh, a wonderful um, Hong Kong 
uh, Hong Kong style sea bass, uh, steamed in spinach and soy, something else. And then don't miss the desserts. They got a, a lemon meringue marshmallow pie. It'll kill you. It's so good. And a white chocolate bread pudding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mateo's getting hungry. Okay, Jackson's pretty good place in Reston Town Center um, and Democracy Drive. For information, you can call them at 703-437-0800 or check the website. It's greatamericanrestaurants.com. Thank you, folks. And Rich, didn't you say that you were going to bring food in next time? I will, my boy. It better be he, next week, he right? He keeps I will. He keeps I on will. promising. I will. We haven't seen it <laughs> yet, but keep your boys. That sounds like a great place. Yeah. It is. It is. You'd like yeah, it. I've been to Artie's and I've been to Coastal Flats, so if it's in that same uh, it's venue, it's even better. Yeah, it ought to be a really great place. All right, thank you, Rich.